Bob has his Brandywine High School Class of 65 yearbook. It has his senior picture in it. Good looking kid. It also has a picture of that year's class ring. But for days, Bob was checking his mailbox for the real ring. He lost it a long time ago. I saw a post on Facebook. Of, um, it said the missing mystery ring. Bob lost his ring in the Cocoa Beach, Florida sand when he was stationed there in the Air Force in 1970 and 71. But I put it in a, a wooden box and uh, in an old dresser. Well, this lady Kathy found a ring on the beach sometime in the late 80s and pre-Google didn't know how to find out where Brandywine High School is. Last week, she rediscovered the ring in a dresser and her husband TJ got on the case. I said, you know what, I'm going to take a shot and see if I can find this high school. TJ learned Brandywine High School is in North Wilmington, Delaware. He called the school and one of Bob's classmates posted a snap and description of the ring and its sandy backstory on a Brandywine High alumni Facebook page. That's where Bob saw it. And I knew I, I knew I had lost it there somewhere. But that's like 50 years ago. The story was an outlandish long shot, but the pieces added up until the ring arrived. So I, I knew right away it wasn't a boy's ring. It's clearly too small to be a boy's ring, and the couple in Florida didn't notice the KCF initials engraved on it. I'm really disappointed that it's not mine, but I certainly want to get this to the rightful owner. Bob thinks he knows a female classmate with the KCF initials and is now working with friends to see if they know if she's still around and how to reach her. Bob thought the mystery would end with him. Now he's just another detective on the case. But at least it made it all the way from Florida back up to Delaware. And, and we'll do our best to, to pass it to the right person. And we promise we'll keep you posted on this. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.